Yeah, good morning, children. Welcome back. So, after completion of uh, factors of climate and weather, now we are going to discuss about the seasons. So, as uh, earlier we have discussed the two differences between weather and climate. Climate, uh, which represents a period of time for 30 years, connected with seasons. So, as you know that winter, summer, rainy. So these are the seasons how it is going to be connected and whether there is a lot of change in day as per time to time. So these are the variations what we are going to be noticing that all what we call the, the one the difference between climate and weather. Now coming to the next what we call the seasons. If you talk about the seasons the first what we are talking about the one called winter. What experiences you are going to be experienced in this winter. That's all what it describes clearly. So here in this uh, the temperature in the Indian landmass considerably, how the changes which we are going to be seeing that is from mid November to till Feb. And not only up to Feb, even in the month of Jan, that what we feel like cool, coldest month. So, all these uh, experiences, like if you see and if you know about that, how the temperature is going to be dropped. Uh, maximum it will not be more than 10 degrees below 10 degrees ultimately the temperature drops so that what uh, we find our experience especially in this what we call winter season and when we compare to north india and as well as south india if you compare to north and south what experiences we are going to be finding as the temperature is going to be moderate moderate climate will be experienced over here and that more than 20 degrees Celsius. So, below 10 degrees Celsius, more than 20 degrees Celsius. That is the, the mean temperature and maximum temperature what we are experiencing in winter season. And as you know that clear sky, low humidity and cool breezes. That was the reason generally the people preferable like Vaseline, lip balm, oil uh, related to moisturize. So these are the things what we make when lips are going to be cracked that we apply all these things that makes what means as this shows clearly that we are there in winter season practical experiences what we notice that. So such type of impact what we are going to find over there in this and because of cyclonic depression from Mediterranean Sea that what we call as western disturbances. So such type of western disturbances that create what uh, which causes moderate rainfall moderate rainfall in the sense nothing but average rainfall that what we are experiencing over here and basing of such type of year this is the one what we call boom to wheat crop which we can generally cultivable over there in this season like what we call that as rabi season so here winter season is also known as rabi season and the boom crop is only the one what we call wheat such type of impact and importance is going to be known and understood especially related to that and not only that like when you see this uh, north india in northern hemisphere whatever we are experiencing over here so because of these winds which are going to be blow and here there in this like what we call the tamil nadu region the state the tamil nadu will experience a little bit of rainfall so that because of northern hemisphere in which north east trades which make a disturbance with which a little a little rainfall which we can observe over there in this one what we call coromandel coast that all what it makes us clear how these are the things which we have experienced so such type of impact is only the one that all what it makes clearly regarding one what we call uh, the seasons how they are going to be found are seen over here that was the importance and that what it says regarding the one winter season followed the next what we call summer season <coughs> as you know that summer season what will be there like when you compare to winter and summer summer we prefer uh, to have the ice creams but whereas in the winter we can't prefer that so what i mean to say is that here slowly the temperature which started rises especially in the month of mid-march to april so April is uh, the season what it starts generally what, as you all know that it's a summer season. So slowly what happens is the temperature rises 
the temperature rises and that will be maximum up to 37 degrees Celsius. Not only that, as per the months pass, like April to coming to the mid-May, it even may cross or reach 41 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. And one more thing, what is that it means? Not below 20 degrees Celsius. So minimum 20, maximum 41 to 42 degrees Celsius. So this is especially 37 degrees Celsius, which was recorded over there in one what we call Ramagandam. So that was the impact in which what we are going to define. And here, one more thing what we have to understand and notice that hot and dry winds, which are called as loop, hot and dry winds called as loop, that what we find at the end of the summer. And all these are only the pre monsoon bus. So that was the impact and importance what we noticed. So generally, like summer season, uh, how uh, the climate will be, as you know that, we feel very hot, uh, high temperature, we prefer more water, because of what, as the rising of temperature, like uh, the sun will be like a burning uh, fire wall, and that makes the impact of the people, people maximum, uh, they prefer like what we call lemon juice or some energetic drinks, uh, like watermelon and all uh, the fruits and uh, cool drinks, what we prefer, because of to overheat uh, to such type of spotting of sunlight which gives us that will be the impact for the people so with that we are preferable to have such type of uh, like reducing the temperature so the, these are the things which makes very clear and these three monsoons especially the early ripening of mangoes especially in this what was the impact what we call that as ripening of mangoes is known as mango showers and such type of mango showers are very preferable and known especially the both of the Telugu states like Andhra Pradesh and as well as Telangana. So that was the impact especially which is related to one the law what it says regarding mango showers that was the impact of one what it called about the summer season. With this we have concluded about the seasons like uh, winter and summer. So that what uh, we have made uh, differences a minimum like 10 degrees Celsius, maximum 20 degrees Celsius, that what we are noticing in winter. But whereas summer, uh, minimum 20, maximum 41 to 42 degrees Celsius. These are the two comparison of the seasons that was there. After completion of the seasons, uh, like summer, winter, now we are entering the most important one, what we call advancing monsoon. How the advancing monsoon is going to be influenced? What is the role of that? As you know that India is essentially called agricultural country. India is often called a subcontinent. So in this connectivity, moving air is called wind. So the monsoon winds here, the sailors who made their voyages, what they have been made especially related to winds like periodic reversal of winds. Whoever they started their sailing towards the, the Indian coast, the Arab traders, they they made the, the word what we call monsoon. So this monsoon is derived from Arabic word, rhythm of season. So that what it uh, makes the impact. And here these monsoon winds, especially which are only uh, connected towards 20 degrees north and 20 degrees south of the latitude. And there in these two regions, like uh, the pressure of air nothing but wind that will be only based upon pressure belts and that leads towards equatorial low pressure areas like uh, if you notice towards the southeast the regions which are related to the southeast these winds are uh, pushing towards the equatorial low pressure belt and that too related to the southern hemisphere and these are the things what we can find over there the two winds like bear bengal arabian sea and indian ocean so such type of impact which we are going to be seen or observe that is what we call advancing monsoon. So in this connectivity, the heating of the land that creates low pressure on land mass and Indian subcontinent. So with all these futures, we are going to be find the one which is the Tibet Plateau. This is nothing but the world table land or otherwise which is also called roof of the world. So in this connectivity, the air currents. The air currents which are going to be found uh, towards the low pressure over the plateau around about 9 kilometers of the latitude 
nothing but what we are going to find the latitude is distance from the equator altitude is height latitude is nothing but otherwise called distance from the equator and there and then the indian plateau which uh, divides the two parts like bay of bengal arabian sea and that which strikes to the shillong plateau so these are the things what we are going to be notice in one what we call advancing monsoon so in this especially what we call the sudden onset of monsoon burst and break sometimes like uh, what we receive like uh, thundering and lightning so the sudden onset of the rain which you are going to get or the sudden onset of monsoon that is only because of advancing monsoon advancing monsoon is also known as southwest monsoon advancing monsoon is also known as southwest monsoon so to represent you clearly this is what it makes clear east west north south north south so this is what we call southwest southwest otherwise called advancing this is what we are noticing among this four like these are the poles east west north south so these two are the parts which are connected what we call southwest monsoon so the sudden onset of the monsoon which leads to heavy downpour and because of that around about 5 weeks all over the country which we get more rains that is related to western ports so western ports nothing but what we call towards arabian sea or western ghats so in such a manner these are the only responsible these winds which they are making bombarding towards uh, low pressure and high pressure where we find the area like warmer and that leads to the heavy rainfall or heavy downpour and what was uh, the important thing as you have to notice that tamil nadu region will remain dry like if you see regional differences like particularly the one region what we call tamil nadu region this region will not get any type of rainfall over here so that is what it makes clear and this region is also known as rain shadow region so that was the impact in which what we are finding related to these two branches like arabian sea branch and as well as bay of bengal branch so these all are only the things what we are noticing and find about the one what we call advancing or southwest monsoon so after the advancing monsoon the next what we are discussing about the one called retreating retreating so as i said for you southwest is nothing but what we call advancing now northeast is nothing but what we call retreating monsoon so in this the monsoons which they are going to be pressurized high pressure to low pressure so making right from october to november the transition of hot to dry winter conditions the transition of hot to dry winter conditions the monsoon winds are going to be pressurized from high pressure to low pressure low pressure to high pressure and that marks very clearly the retreating monsoon how it appears clear sky and rise of temperature rise of temperature temperature is nothing but the relative state of heat and coolness that what we can observe so these all are only the things we can have a sign that these are only related to retreating monsoon it is a sign to identify the clear sky and rise of temperature and how it will be the condition means moist humidity and weather becomes rather oppressive so such type of all these are the signs which indicates only the word what we call october heat so that is referred as one what we call october heat so these are the things which are known to one what we call retreating monsoon not only that thickly populated deltas deltas means small triangular shape in which we find godavari krishna kaveri so these regions are also going to be fulfilled because of one what we call retreating monsoon no year ever goes disaster free such type of tropical cyclones visits sundarbans in west bengal and west bengal and bangladesh too so such type of impact and bulk of the rainfall is going to be received in this koramandal coast where the depression and cyclones take place so that all are only related to one what we call retreating monsoon 
and very important to conclude about the advancing and retreating here this is only the one in the indian tradition the year has been divided into months and that makes up the practicing that is what we can uh, divide the seasons like vasanta grishma varsha sharad hemanta and shishira all these are only the seasons where we can make very clarity and clearance months according to the lunar like uh, chaitra vaishaka that is vasanta and grishma jeshta ashada varsha like uh, shravana bhadra sharad aswayuja kartika hemanta like uh, marga shira and kushya and shishira magga and palguna so all these are only the seasons uh, which makes clarity to have such type of impact related to advancing and as well as retreating nothing but southwest is called advancing northeast is nothing but what we call retreating so that what it says how these seasons are going to be play an important role as this is just now what we have seen october to november now we are in the same season like winter how we are feeling so these are things what it uh, describes clearly related to advancing and retreating coming to the next topic global warming and climate change global warming and climate change so global warming is nothing but the globe which is in danger the globe which is in danger and how that was the impact showing over there on the climate change as we have learned earlier the difference between weather and climate so climate what it makes us clearly it's only related to one like a period of time but whereas uh, weather that will be quite different like time to time in a day a lot of variations what we see that so in this comparison as we already know that how this uh, impact has been seen especially related to the seasons india absolutely following the one what we call monsoon type of climate and arab sailors who came over here and they have called this as monsoon a rhythm of seasons so in this why we are connecting especially related to that the only reason is that how the globe is in danger how the globe which is in danger that what we are going to discuss as you know that sun is a star and is a planet we are living over there on this earth surface and when the sun which radiates in the form of light and heat how we are experiencing how we are protecting that all makes us clear so here a thin layer called that ozone layer ozone layer is only the one that protect us from ultraviolet rays ultraviolet so this ultraviolet rays is protected only through one what we call ozone layer so there is this impact how this uh, uh, connected to the one what we call that as greenhouse effect so that it makes us clear how this global warming and climate change is going to be a uh, made impact over there about greenhouse effect that is only the one how we can protect how can we protect our environment from in maintaining of ecological balancing from imbalancing to balancing that you have to make the law what it says so in this connectivity agw anthropogenic global warming so in this uh, anthropogenic global warming most of them what was the answer the regarding this question is humans are only held responsible for spoiling damaging the environment anthropogenic global warming anthropogenic is nothing but human involvement otherwise to make you clear human involvement is only the one which they are making this a great effect to the globe so this anthropogenic global warming and here we find various types of gases as you know that oxygen is regarded, uh, regarded as breath of life it is a mixture of several gases carbon dioxide nitrogen oxygen neon etc etc all other gases are going to be mixed over there and without oxygen life become impossible without uh, taking breath we can't survive we can't live so in this impact that all what it makes us clear how especially when we compare to carbon dioxide methane gas is more dangerous so such type of impact was seen over there in this and meanwhile when the temperature rises so like 
ice in Tundra region, it's going to be melt. Like usually, uh, when you find the refrigerator, if you take ice cubes, ice cube will be melting into water. And the same water when you keep over there in the freezer, then water will become as ice cube. <coughs> so, such type of impact what we are going to find over here. So the main intention of is this, is only to make and protect our environment in a safe manner. So that are what it says about the work what we call anthropogenic global warming, how the humans are responsible. As we know that, like every day we are listening the song, Swachh Bharat Ka Irada Kar Liya So what is the intention of that even uh, the governments are planning here to make dry and wet to be separate. And we should not use plastic, but we are not able to do that. We are still using the same and that leads to environmental damage, no doubt about that. So that's how people are habituated. So such type of impact and importance are only the one what it makes us clear how this global warming, how the globe which is endangering and making of all the such type of differences, that makes us clear how this environment has been seen. That describes clearly, that is the one what we call global warming and climate change. And the next what the decision has taken, HW and climate change. So with the anthropogenic global warming, when the redistribution of heat in the world that makes what means climatic patterns. If we observe in the present scenario, as per the seasons, the temperature and climate is not so similar. Like to make you clear, winter season we are feeling as rainy season, rainy season we are feeling as winter season, summer season we are feeling as rainy, rainy season we are feeling as summer. So these all makes what us to understand clearly, there is a disturbance over there in this climatic pattern. As per the seasons, like in the previous early years, how the seasons are uh, following, that impact we are not seeing nowadays. So such type of differences, it makes us clearly how these human involvement was there. So for that reason, what uh, the people understood very clearly, it's a long term changes. Long term changes, maximum the environment is getting to be damaged. So there in this connectivity, an international organization was held uh, by making of all the scientists and all the geographers and various parts of the country, they met over there to meet one uh, conference. So it is not an ordinary conference, it is an international uh, conference which was held. This is nothing but what we call IPCC. IPCC is nothing but Intergovernmental Panel on Climatic Change. This was held over Warsaw, Poland capital is Warsaw, that was uh, held in the year 2013. So what was the agreement, what uh, all the people or the nations, whoever the delegates are participated there in this uh, like uh, international conference, the main agenda is that how to control, how to control human induced, like what we call anthropogenic global warming, anthropogenic as I said earlier how this human involvement have to be reduced. That was the main discussion which they have been met over here to have a discussion. That is intergovernmental panel on climatic change in Warsaw in 2013. But what happened means it's a big, big, big failure. Why? What was the reason for failure of this means? As countries they have joined this conference but they are not able to take the oath to control and protect the environment as we see the various types of uh, pollutions, air pollution, sound pollution, water pollution, all these are the types of pollution is also one of the impact of our environment. So we have to make the ecological balancing should be in a balanced manner, then we can make better environment and that, that will be very greener. So such type of impact is only seen or observed in this, but what happened? Disagreement. Disagreement between what? Developed and as well as developing nations. Developed and as well as developing nations. So what was the argument which they have been argued here, especially developing countries like India? They said very seriously, what is that meant? Our economic development will be seriously damaged and especially for the fossil fuels, mainly coal. Coal is also known as black gold. So that what it says, how these are the things which are happening over here, total impact has been seen in this. That makes us clear 
So these are the impact to make it clear only the one if we go that. See, nowadays how people are habituated, everyone in their residence, even in uh, sunlight or moonlight, people habituated for air condition, people habituated for refrigerators, 24 hours round the clock, they need what fans, lights and all this. People are missing the nature. The beauty of the nature, they are very fond of that. And this is also one of the cars which makes the environment endangered. That what it says, how it is damaging our environment. So these are the, not the right and proper steps. And overall, if we make all this a clear study, a clear information to know about all this thing, what is the answer we are getting is the only reason for that deforestation is the cause. This is what they have been observed and they have been directed. So all these are the impact in which what it makes and understanding clearly about all this, that is what we call climate of India. This is what we are knowing and learning such type of impact what it has been made. That makes us clear regarding global warming and climate change and anthropogenic uh, global warming and climate change. How this uh, things are involved over there in this environment in endangering all this. So it is a dire necessity and it's our duty to protect the environment. Coming to the next, uh, to conclude this topic, impact of climate change on India. How the impact will be seen, I'll let you know clearly. Though a rise of 2 degrees Celsius of average temperature which will be affected most of the coastal people what will be the next step means the shift the shift for one what we call for livelihood as the weather pattern and climate if they are going to be announced as we see in television and radios people are going to be warm so immediately what the people whoever they are very closer to the coastal region they will be shifted to other because of their livelihood so there is this impact of uh, climate on India, nearly 200 squatter families where they are living in Nonadanga that is uh, being evicted by Kolkata people, that is what we call KMDA, Kolkata Metropolitan Development Authority. So with this uh, information of uh, KMDA, what happened means around uh, 200 squatter families there in Nonadanga, they have been evicted. And then this in the year 2009, what was the experience called Alia Super Cyclone. So cyclone names are also the different what we are going to be find. So these are uh, the impact what we are going to be noticed or uh, understood, especially about the one what we call uh, the climate change in India. So there on uh, 30th March, 700 people slum was bulldozed amid police presence and some of the hotments were set fire. So immediately this is the information which was passed by KMDA, Kolkata Metropolitan Development Authority with making the presence of police. What happened means they have been set a fire for this hotment and uh, who are the people there in this? There are only household helpers, rickshaw pullers, construction laborers. So these are the people there, they have been put the such type of effect what we have noticed. And here, especially the one what we are going to be noticed regarding one, like how these all are the areas especially related to lakes, ponds, streams, how these are contaminated and especially the fisher fuckers, whoever they are going to be have uh, the fishing net. So that will be the impact for the people and most of the fishes are going to be polluted and even that may die. So all these are the things which is going to be happen because of only contamination. So that what it says, how these all are the other effect, like how the Tangrana region which the snow is going to be melted and all these are the great impact in which, what are the other two effects means, flux and drought. Here the flux is nothing but the excess of water excess of water as we see in uh, newspaper and television people hold of their own luggage and they migrate from one area to another area what was the reason they are going to be moving as because that is only the flooded area so even some helicopters they come and they supply some 
distribution of food packets to up to that uh, extent like disaster management to make some rescue teams to protect the people whoever they are affected or impacted in this floods. The other one what we call uh, droughts. Droughts is nothing but what we call lack of water. Here excess of water, here lack of water. So floods and droughts expected to increase especially more and much damage for the agricultural pattern and people's livelihood. So these are the things which makes an impact over there especially related to agricultural pattern and as well as people's livelihood. So these are the only the impact what we have learned and understood about the one what we call climate of India. So such type of impact has been seen with one what we call the impact of climate change on India with all these effects and uh, that impacts makes and what will be the better means as our duty is to protect the environment to make that clean and green.